everyone, Joel Hansen here, or Buenas Noches. Uh, mi nombre is Joel, Joel Hansen. You know what I'm saying. So today, guys, we are actually in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, yes. How did I get to Mexico? I don't even know, long story. But I'm not complaining. It's beautiful down here. I've gotten lots of sun. So here we are, guys, at iTaco. Yes, iTaco, right there, iTaco. Which is kind of like, it's a restaurant. It's like a permanent food truck, basically, here um, with this lovely seating area, basically all through there. Um, to do their 50 taco challenge, yes. So for today, we are gonna eat 50 of their tacos. We have to eat 50 tacos, we do get to choose the flavors. So they have like, Al Pastor, they have carne asada, which is steak. Al Pastor is a flavored pork. They also have chorizo, which is a Mexican sausage. Um, they have the trumpo, which is, they are literally cutting off right there. Uh, the trumpo, which is literally, that is a big thing of pork. That is a big, big, big thing of pork. They flame it, and then they cut it off like the gentleman is doing right there. And then they serve it on your tortas, tacos, and all those other delicious things. So uh, for this challenge, we are gonna have 50 minutes, so it's like one per minute, which is pretty cool. Um, a lot of food. They are, uh, I guess, double tortillas, um, which are corn tortillas, and then they are topped with like just the way they come. So uh, the El Pastor is cilantro, onions, pina, pineapple, whereas the carne asada has uh, cilantro, onions, and guacamole on it. Um, so that's about that. It sounds very good. It's very delicious looking. Excited to be eating some tacos here. Um, but that, that's pretty much about it. So let's have some fun. Let's eat some food. And uh, it's pretty late, but uh, let's eat. So yeah, let's go. Playa del Carmen. Tacos, actually in fact, this is, from my own understanding, the only like taco food challenge I could find in all of Mexico. So this is probably like Mexico's biggest taco challenge. So let's have some fun. All right, everyone, so here we are with some of the tacos. They're gonna make me more as I need them. Um, so this looks absolutely delicious. We have a lovely looking chorizo, which if you're not familiar, is like a Mexican sausage. I then have some carne asada, which is steak, so beef. These ones have like uh, cilantro, um, guacamole, onions on them. The cilantro and onions is a very, very popular um, kind of topping that is like the key topping. Um, then we also have some El Pastor. The El Pastor, in addition to the onions, the cilantro, which is actually also coriander, believe it or not, um, is some pineapple, some piña, which is again, very, very, very popular. Um, a nice addition, goes really great with the flavors. Um, and yeah, pretty much got some more uh, asada here. Uh, we got some more El Pastor. So it all looks very, very, very beautiful. Um, they are all double shelled, double shelled tortillas. Um, but yeah, so it looks awesome. I'm super, super excited. So pretty much we're just gonna get started here. I have some salsas. We have the uh, salsa roja. The red salsa, which is supposed to be medium picante, just like medium picante, uh, spicy. We have the, uh, the salsa verde, which is a jalapeno base. Again, same thing. It's supposed to be like medium spicy. I have some lemon, limes, very, very popular again. I have some water, some serviettes. So with that, let's pretty much get started. We do have one more salsa as well, which I get. It's supposed to be more spicy. It's actually made with peanuts. So with uh, that, let's get started here just momentarily. But yeah, let's get started here, guys. I'm gonna start with some of the El Pastor. I'll start with it just by itself first with the pina and everything else on it. it looks very delicious. So how about we get started? See if we count five, four, three, two, one, let's eat. I love the flavor of that. I'm gonna throw on some of this salsa. See how spicy it is? And what the contact? It's actually pretty spicy. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at iTaco in Playa del Carmen, literally really close to the tourist area just off of Fifth Ave and actually right by Walmart. Here doing their 50 taco challenge, or it would be 50 taco, and then I don't know what challenge is. Um, but really cool place, great food, great people, so let's get into it. The, uh, the pineapple is also a really nice touch, good flavor on that. And here's the peanut 
salsa. Muy picante, very spicy. So for the challenge, we had 50 minutes to complete the tacos in order to get the meal for free. Um, there you have the variety of their El Pastor, which is kind of, in my opinion, what they're most known for with that huge trompo, which is the big uh, spit of pork. Then they had chorizo, they had the carne asada. Um, I think maybe they also had a chicken option, um, but I didn't order any, at least in this order. Um, but yeah, pretty much, you know, lots of, lots of tacos. Let's try some of the carne asada. This has the uh, guacamole on it. That is delicious. They have a bit of lime in there too. Lots of lime in the El Pastor. Woo! What in? They are kind of like the Mexican street style taco. They did have uh, like the corn tortilla, the traditional tortilla. They were also double tortilla, like double wrapped or however you want to call it, which is pretty standard um, based on my experiences, both in Mexico and kind of if you're just eating this general kind of street taco elsewhere. Um, but yeah, really loved it. Um, everything tasted really fresh. Of course, they were topped with the cilantro, the onions, which are undoubtedly, undoubtedly, undoubtedly just like the essential topping for a taco in Mexico. There was also the pineapple on the El Pastor, which was awesome. And then the guacamole on the carne asada, which is basically chopped steak, uh, grilled chopped steak. There, I did have a plate of limes there. Some people really, really like limes or limon, you know, if you're Spanish, um, on kind of El Pastor, on tacos, on a lot of different things. I use some, I'm not the biggest lime on kind of my taco person, but when it comes to salsas and those other flavors, I'm a big salsa person, love salsa. And when they say salsas, they more mean like sauces rather than like paste salsa. That was amazing. Let's try this chorizo. So we got a Mexican sausage. A real heavy flavor on it. It's good. Very porky. Try some salsa verde. By the time, you know, kind of got in the food, got to try the different sauces. I will say like the green salsa was absolutely amazing. I'm not sure what they were doing with it, but it was, you know, it could just be the avocado on it, which made it like really creamy. But man, I wouldn't have been surprised if there was like some kind of mayonnaise or something in it because they are almost are more like comparable to something what I call like a flavored aioli or a little bit like, a, you know, like that you kind of get in North America. Still a little different, um, but like compared to like a traditional salsa verde, this green salsa I found definitely had a very kind of like creamy aspect to it. Again, could just be the avocado. Maybe there's some something else in there, but I really liked it nonetheless. The uh, red salsa was also fantastic, but that one definitely was not like that that was the only like uncreamy salsa that they kind of had there but again nonetheless absolutely fantastic we're about five and a half minutes in i'm digging it the salsas are definitely spicy though food challenges in my experience are really hard to come by in mexico um being that like i really only know very few in the whole country again not that i've looked in the whole country but if you know any food challenges in mexico which are not the shark burger um, food challenges comment down below please um, i would love to have the opportunity to do some more in mexico uh, mexico is a place which i get to every so often um, and uh, i'd love to you know uh, go try some more but again i do find they are very hard to come by maybe it's just a cultural thing and you know it, it is a very kind of i don't know in my opinion well, it's just, it, they just aren't around. We'll just leave it there. But like I said, comment down below if you know of any food challenges in Mexico, um, no matter where they are in Mexico, as I'd really appreciate that information. 
Um, overall though, I think that's pretty much, you know, the vast majority of what we uh, need to cover here. So again, some really good taste in tacos, um, you know, some great flavors, some diversity. Uh, what I did start with, I started with 30, and then for the other 20, I just waited to order, because um, I wasn't sure how long this was gonna take me to eat. Uh, I could have started with all 50, but I think that going the 30 route was a good place to start. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's about that, guys. So let's tune on in. Let's see ultimately what happens. And uh, yeah, that's about that. So let me know down below. Like I said, if you know of any other food challenges in Mexico. And ultimately, let's tune on in and let's see what happens. Another triple tortilla. Another stress. What do we have? Can I do a this mass carne asada and this mass asadrofo? Hey guys, head not. I just ordered some more, ten more of the uh, carne asada, ten more al pastor. That puts at fifty. Uh, very good. Love it. I will try the very spicy. Salsa with peanuts. That's an amazing flavor. Definitely has some heat. And I do get the peanut in it, just like a little bit though. But if I tried it and somebody didn't say there was peanut in it, I probably wouldn't have known if that makes sense. Actually, these ones are a mixture. So I have chorizo, El Pastor, and the carne asada on these ones with uh, cilantro and onions. There's a lot of food. Definitely uh, got some weights from it. It's about 12 15 in. Doing good for time. Just waiting on these next tacos. Ooh, I tell you though, my last couple bites. I got some spiciness, some picante. What picante? All the flavors are salsas, but it builds up, that heat builds up. So, oh, it builds up for sure. But I love spice, I love eating a lot of food. When I have them together, sometimes my stomach feels a little off. It's maybe one of those times. Spicy. What kind of sugar-free horchata mix, which is basically a rice, milk, and cinnamon drink. It's delicious, definitely a Mexican thing. So I'm gonna bust this out. Maybe a little bit of creaminess will kind of subside some of the spice and give me something to sip out in the meantime. 
All right, if you made it to this point in the video first off, thank you so much for not skipping through it. Really appreciate it. Here we are waiting for some food in the video. So what a perfect time to ask you what your favorite kind of taco is. Comment down below. Maybe it is like a uh, chorizo taco. Maybe you like a traditional ground beef taco. Maybe you like a chicken taco. Comment your favorite flavor or favorite kind of taco down below and uh, I can compare with you. I'll read your comments. And uh, yeah, so like I said, comment down below your favorite type of taco and thank you so much for watching. Some more El Pastor. Amazing, thank you so much. Taco is muy caliente, it's very hot. Some salsa cool down. Delicious though. So fresh coming right out that, that trumpo. Salsas to like cool it off, but if it's not needed by any means. Let me know what your favorite meat we've had so far is chorizo, El Pastor. We're kind of inside of Jablo. So good with that guacamole. We are. About 23 minutes in, come out to minutes. Ooh. Definitely filling up, guys, but delicious. Thank you. 
Yep. Yeah. See? Let's see. All right. Whew. Okay, guys. So we finished up. Oh, we forgot some timer. I know it says 27.41, so let's go back a little bit. I don't know, 27.30 something. That was a lot of tacos, but that was very, very good. So definitely, I Taco would recommend. Literally right just down the street from Fifth Ave. Literally like basically right across the street from Walmart. There's also kind of like a government building right here. Really cute square, they have like, uh, like all kinds of like a little market over there, which looks really sweet. That's about it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. I definitely recommend stopping on by. The taco says might be in. Um, they have like my favorite things in Mexico, which is like the uh, taco kits. So you can buy like a medio kilo, like a half kilo of El Pastor, um, full kilo if you want. They give you tortillas, uh, the cilantro, the onions, and ceballo, I think it is, something like that. But yeah, guys, like I said, great. The salsas are really good too. Definitely a lot spicier than I anticipated. But the jalapeno one is really good. It's really creamy, which is really, really cool. Like some salsa verdes I find are less creamy, more creamy. This one's very creamy. The only one that's not creamy is the salsa marita, which is what I'll call the salsa roja. Definitely some kind of like anchos or pastel peppers in there. Maybe some uh, some arbol chilies, I'd say some arbol chilies. Oh, the peanut salsa, I, I, I believe that's peanut salsa. That's what I was told. Uh, it is definitely uh, spicy, but it has again a really nice richness and creaminess to it. Kind of like, again, but you wouldn't know it has peanut in it if you didn't mention it. Like, I never, I tasted it and it didn't, I didn't taste like peanuts. But like, when you think of it and you're like, oh, there's peanut, you're like, oh yeah, there's like a small hint of like, maybe peanut butter or something, like just a little bit. Kind of helps make it, I don't know, maybe extra creamy or extra rich. But uh, yeah, no complaints. As far as the meats go, they're all really, really good. Um, I think probably mm, the El Pastor and the carne asada, I think, were, well, they were my favorites. Uh, the uh, chorizo was also good. Um, but yeah, no, and the mix, mix one was really good as well because it got brought like a lot of richness and everything in, to, in between there. But that's about it. So now we're gonna get the meal for each. It's pretty cool. We did hit the 50 tacos, guys. Um, double, triple tortillas, lots of food. Lots and lots of food, but uh, yeah, no complaints. So that one, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. And uh, that's about that, guys. So of course, till next time, if you're in Playa del Carmen, check out iTaco. I like it. iTaco and I recommend. I was, I've been here just the other day. We see it in the clip somewhere. So till next time, everybody. Buenas noches and uh, good night. And here we are in Playa by the government building, um, kind of like pretty much downtown right off 5th Ave. And we have this beautiful kind of uh, light set up. We have, you know, these great big Christmas trees. We have little like ornaments you can take pictures with. We have all these crystalline like looking stair, I don't know, passageway thingy things. Look awesome. We got all the trees with stars in them, which is awesome. More uh, like presents and photo things over there. Here we got some real twinkly little lights and the place is just decked out for Christmas, which is awesome. So Feliz Navidad, everybody. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much. You rock.